Hey everyone, Meowcity here, welcome back. Today, I have a very bad idea for a group, test it out. Hopefully it works out, we're gonna see what happens. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna be heading into the catacombs, hopefully one last time before taking on a few bosses. The premise for this group is that pretty much everyone except for the bounty hunter can heal himself. What the bounty hunter can't heal himself for, there's hopefully two people that maybe can heal him. For a little bit at least, and I'll be taking extra food to heal him as well. And if I am right with what I think on how everyone's resolve is looking, everyone except for maybe the Flagellant will be level 3 after this, and I should be set up with how I want to take on both the Warhawk Matron and the Levantine Janissary, and uh, beyond that, I'm not sure how I want to take on the Cactoin, Alrun, and what's in the caverns, but I think I have an idea on what I want for them, so I will uh, keep leveling groups up for that after those, and kind of go from there. So, for now, we will be going and trying to get the Dazzling Charm for extra stun chance and accuracy, because stun chance is always good, and I need them to talk, so... Let's get to it. Like I said, extra food. Uh, also, torches are a good thing. Archaeology kits, some keys, bandages, because I'm going to need bandages, and some shovels. And we will be off. These ruins were once teeming with the Kovarov right. people. Let us see what they have left behind. So technically, I only need to explore 90% of the rooms. So we'll see what happens. And pretty early on, I'm going to see how this group works. <laughs> Hopefully it works all right. So excruciating pain on them. Let's get some blood vials on our Hexer. Because he's the one who's going to be able to heal everyone if things go really bad. But I need three blood vials for that. Yeah. Flagellant is the other one who can with Reclaim if I need to. But for now, we're just going to punish. I'm kind of thinking he's going to be reclaiming on every single prep round after this one, but I'm not entirely sure on that. Oh, you prick. Alright, for now, mark for death. And Reckless Rage. I don't plan on doing much for the uh, marking on him, just it's a prep round thing. Oh, he... I did not think this through. I might need to change his skills a little bit. But excruciating pain again. Punish. That's half of his health. For now, Iron Swan. Now I can get at the Sniper. Collect Bounty. Owie. Still doing fine with him though, so... Finish him? Nope. Miss. Alright. Since that corpse is still there, we can get at the Sniper, so Iron Swan. Robodika. Yeah, excruciating pain, why not? Punish. I believe that should make him bleed out. No, one one health left. Or not. And I don't exactly want to use that, so... Punish. I'll figure that out after this. There we go. Alright, archaeology kit and Mata. Not bad. Oh, he needs to be in row three. I 
I'm aware of how extremely unorthodox this is. I kind of thought the Hexer had an ability that could be reused in row, Thor, row 4 for damage, and I was extremely wrong. So, I'm making do. We are gonna heal. Reckless Rage for that lovely damage boost. And... Let's get them bleeding. Alright, we're gonna melt the dancer person. We're going to punish the Rakshasa. I was going to say the human, but they're all human. <laughs> yes, we're going to punish the human. Wait, they're all human. Which one do you mean? All right, uh, flashbang. Maybe we're going to stun the person with the bird. All right. If it bleeds. Yeah. Now he'll bleed out because of the crit. Lovely. You will bleed. Odika dubs it so. I keep thinking this is something else, but no, that's a mark for multiple things. Alright, you're bleeding for two. But I can also stun you, I suppose. Bombs away. You will melt. Punish. You bleed out, so now the dancer goes away. I guess that doesn't work nearly as bad as I thought it would. Okay, that hurt a bit. Now the flagellant can do something to you, sir. Yes, up the damage taken. Flashbang. Because grenades away. And insane grenade. And away you go. Kind of a good layup there. Alright, skeleton key. I'll take the money. Moving on up. Another arc kit there. Our cause is More Mata. I will happily take it. I kind of don't want the low light here because I know that they are immune to bleeding the um, things I'm not going to try to pronounce. Well, I'm pretty sure he has 100%, so let's get rid of that. Hey, a golem art kit. More Mata. Oh, um, let's see. I know he likes the skeleton key. He pays a lot of money for that. That would also free up an inventory space. I am curious, however, about what he pays for other stuff. Like, I know he pays a lot of money for the disease kit. Way more than a lot of this stuff is worth. So, like... What would he give me for a bandage? Bandage is worth, what, 150? And he gave me a thousand for it? Bandage, right? Yay, Amber. I really should go back into the caverns and get the uh, Amber Deck upgraded. Amber Den, rather. I think it is. Alright, let's up all the damage taken on you guys. Uh, 
really, I don't need to reclaim. Um, well, maybe bleed this prick, maybe not. We are going to bleed the deadbolt. No, well, at least we got the cleric errant. I'm very fine with that. And then reckless rage. Why is one cleric errant guarding the other? I'm very confused. Okay. So I kind of want to do this because it's fun. Who do we melt? 10 and 10. So. He has a high bleed resistance. He does not. He goes away. Yeah, he's not having a good day anymore. Now, you will bleed. That's a, that's a lot of blood. And he just kind of melted. As the Hexer is sitting there basically cackling about it. Um, can we stun with the grenades? Maybe, maybe not. They're darn well going to try to stun us. Okay. So, let's get these vials back. You're going to bleed out. Basically, it's because of what I can do. Anything would have gone at him. Uh, if it bleeds on you? No? Okay. Ouchie. Two of our people are stunned. I really don't like the missionaries because of that. I... I'm just going to excruciating pain to get the files back. And then, Bodica. Let's finish up the missionary. You know, sometimes these very unorthodox parties are very fun. <laughs> How's that shield working for you there, buddy? Right, insane grenade. And you will bleed out there, sir. Because it's what the poor bounty hunter can do. Alright, take what we can. I actually want pretty much everything here, so... Uh, what I think I'm going to do is we're going to camp and we're going to feast. It's going to let me take these. I can dump the gold. Then, ooh, that sounds very weird. Interesting. All right, so no one really needs the stress removal. So, scout... Encourage just for the stress. Guess renew review contract. Scout. Scout. And pep talk. Our path is revealed. Right, this thing. Archaeology kit does get me loot. We will go with it. Um, that's worth 250 and it stacks a lot. So let's get rid of that.
I have three scouts going right now. I think I'm gonna find stuff. Ooh. Take the amber. Secure it and march on. We still have much to do. It'd be really nice if I could get the amber upgrades without going back into the cove. Or the caverns, rather. Let's go up towards the fight. Bandage. Shovel. The idiot in me wants to light the cannon. The smart person in me wants to not light the cannon because one of two things is going to happen. It's either going to shoot the top of whatever ceiling there is, and it's going to come crumbling down upon me. And then the other thing is like, hey, either the noise or the light or whatever else is in that cannon is going to attract all of the enemies. Screw it. I was right. You know, for people rushing to, hey, we heard a cannon fire. That's not very, you know, like. I, I mean, I guess it's like first responders. I was going to go, they're like not very well armed. It's a commander with two grunts and a guy with arrows. <laughs> You'd think they'd bring some heavier troops for that. It's cannon fire. Somewhere there shouldn't be cannon fire. Yeah. Alright, so... Caltrops. Have fun with those, folks. Then we're going to melt one in rank one. Okay. Just gotta check sometimes. It is kind of cool that his arrow goes away after he does the shot, and then when he draws his quiver, it shows an arrow. Alright, so if I do this, 11 to 20. If I do this, 7 to 13 and a high bleed. So we'll, we'll bleed him out. Oh no, you hurt the flagellant, the person who wants to be hurt. Whatever will he do? While the bounty hunter throws more Eric Caltrops at everyone. <laughs> Alright, well, one of the grunts is uh, gonna be bled out. And I just noticed it's a different arrow every time, too. I can actually tell what they're gonna do. If you knew what arrows were which. Alright, well, let's flesh bang. And then, I mean, this will probably kill him, and then wasn't a crit, so I can still iron swan. Now, he's not having a good day. I can hit him with literally anything before he goes. I don't get hit. So there we go. I spoke too soon. Well, come hither you. You know, I really expected to take a lot more damage in this group. Especially considering the Bounty Hunter really is not doing much. And I'd probably just curse myself, but you know, that's fine. Uh... Alright, well. 
<laughs> Lost Legion. Again. Eat Keltrops. Those things would suck to step on. We thought Legos were bad. Right, we are going to heal for once. Oh, he did bleed himself. Youch. I mean, I guess that means we can sanguinate this battle again. Worst comes to worse. And... Do, do, do. What are they going to do? Well, that could end up bad. He needs a bandage, he says. But he's the one who likes that. Well, I don't think they have a fryer anymore. I think we're also going to melt the deadbolt. And um, give him a few more caltrops, making it harder to aim. Really? Not the one who was marked? Oh, you guys do you. Sanguinate. Get that lovely health back. And... Caltrops. <laughs> 11. So we do need to do some damage to him or he's not gonna do anything. And then we just got the Judicator. And his fancy... Mace. Stick. Well. Bounty Hunter can't really do anything anymore, unfortunately. But we can make it so this Judicator has a very, very bad day. And that's that. Alright. Skirmish, really? Um, you don't need to do any of that. I want my torches. I want the key. I put snake oil on anyone. Nope. Okay, well. Pop. And survey says. <laughs> well, I mean, it is a camp. Excruciating pain. With Caltrops. <laughs> I mean, I think the Caltrops are excruciating pain, but if the excruciating pain makes the Caltrops worse, I wouldn't want to imagine that. Alright. Plus Rage. And reclaim. Yay, no bleed that time. All right. I don't see any battles on the way, so we're going to malform. And who's guarding you? Rank one. Have fun, buddy. Rank 2. <laughs> what do you think everyone's reaction to seeing that malform is? I think everyone there but the third mage would probably go, what is happening? And he just cured the bleed, so he probably could have cured the grunt with that. And he chose not to. Just remember that, folks. The grunt was, like, guarding him. <laughs> Oh yeah, he's uh he's definitely going away before anything can happen. So we're going to uh pull you. 
so other people can have fun with him. Excruciating pain. Just get the blood vials. Not sure that's going to be enough for your friend there, but you do you. Insanguinate. I think he's going to bleed out now. If it bleeds... Nope. One down. Oh, not the other yet. Flashbang. Because that's what I can do. Two down. Melt him. Flashbang. And down they go. More health than what we started with, so I call that a win. Don't think I can take the gold or anything like that. Uh, probably should keep the key. Screw it. Actually, band it. No, I might need the bandages for the Kirio in case they're like amber or something. They can eat. Moving on along. Suppose we can use that. Disarm the trap. Maybe I can get the stress down on everyone. Definitely gonna do this. Gentle. For sale or for study, these artifacts are precious. I, I did get them all. Uh oh shoot, I got rid of the key. Speak of the frickin' devil. Okay, who has something I don't like? No one cheat in ritualist. I don't like ritualist. Untalented needs to go. Same with enervated. Either of the things on the hex are need to go. So, there we go. Uh, I am going to go pop down to that curio. So, 60, 60, 80. Because I can get rid of this. Take up the spades. This is nothing to trouble ourselves over. Curio, but this thing. Don't want the fight. Just a cannon. I'm probably not going to go through that extra battle, so let's just call it there. Another round is established. These mausoleums of technology become ever navigable. I'm not going to press my luck like I had the last time. Um, that 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 was a mistake. But we did get a bunch of treasure. We did get Mata. I did get the dazzling charm. I'm curious to see where my resolve stands with this group. Okay. But I am racking up that Mata. I really like that. And I did get some uh, salvage jewelry, some amber, some other stuff, but 29 Mata. So that's going to get me really close to that chandlery. Everyone but the... Oh no, just the... Just Bodica and the Bounty Hunter hit level 3, but the Bounty Hunter is the only one I needed for the Warhawk Matron. The Flagellant and the Hexer are the ones I wanted for the Janissary, so I'll need to do one or two more with them, I think. Chipped Shoulder will only participate in the Fighting Pit. Really? With a Chipped Shoulder? 
Okay. An amber, amber symbiosis. It's kind of whatever on him, but I think I should probably get rid of that. The soils and sands below are my birth. So just making doubly sure. L. Dry. Percy. With Sant. And everything you can do, you can do in row four. Everything you can do, you can do in row three or four. And if I need you to, you can go into row one. Everything I want you to do is in row one or two, and then you are a row one person. Absolutely lovely. Shouldn't have flashbang on him. I should have, uh. I mean, I guess I could switch these two, and then I could have flashbang on the. Um. For emergency stuff. And then I should be set for the Warhawk Matron, I think. And then after that, I can go with some other stuff. I was thinking Bodica, the Flagellant, a Hexer, and a Vestal, but I might be able to mix that around a little bit and see what I have for that. And then I'm not sure what the uh, I want for the Treasury or the Caverns. But we'll, we'll see about that. So I think we're sitting pretty. I want to use that group so I know I can put some people into... Oh, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> we're not doing that right now. Um, I can put some people into stress relief and stuff like that. We will pick up from there next time. Um, do I actually... Before I forget, yes. Uh, we will make sure everyone is trained up in these skills. Because that could be very bad if I forgot to do that. Oh man, that is a lot of lost tech. I was getting so close. I'm just going to train everything on her as a just in case. Percy. Oh man, that is a good feeling to have them that trained up. I just realized I did that on Wissant there in that last mission, uh, last dungeon thing. And Come Hither and Caltrops, which were the main skills I was using, were not trained at all. And <laughs> he was doing pretty decently. That was kind of good. All right, well, that is. Awesome. We will uh, we will pick up from there next time going into the Warhawk Matron. Hopefully that goes well and I'm assuming everything right. If not, I know that I'm planning things wrong for the Janissary and other bosses as well. And I will just have to kind of figure out things after I kind of fail a party in them. So that'll be that. And as always, I wish you all well. I will see you next time. And please, please, please have a good one.